Thank you so much for taking a moment to really tune in. And when I say tune in, I mean really tune in. I want you to drop every thought right now. I want you to listen to the tone of my voice. I want you to hear the seriousness within it. I want you to also hear the excellence in it. And what I mean by that is I'm going to say some things and some of it you're going to get right away. and You're going to know where I'm coming from. For some of you, you're going to say, wow, I'm not, I haven't quite heard anyone speak it the way that I'm going to speak it. And, and, and this has to be said. This has to be said. We all deserve a chance at life, at our best, at our worst. We all need the chance to kind of realize some things and really get a perspective on our navigation through this journey that we call life. And as I talk to you right now, I hope one thing that all distractions could be set aside, all distractions, because you deserve life. You deserve to understand your life you, you need to understand where the struggles are coming from and why for some struggles don't exist. And don't get me wrong, there's always struggle, but it's good struggle. There's good conflicts as well as the bad. I like to pay, paint a picture for you. As you see nature, as you see all that is created on this earth, I want you to under notice something. Haven't you ever noticed how the ocean doesn't have a problem with the wildlife and how the fishes can get along with all the other sea creatures? Yeah, the lobsters, the oysters, and, and uh, the ocean knows where to stop and the sand knows where to begin. And land developed, you know, what I'm saying is creation is such a beautiful thing. And yet creation knows how to get along. There's this thing called harmony, harmony of life, harmony of journey. I want you to understand that a lot of our struggles in life are struggles because we chose to struggle. We chose to not get along. You know, as I look at all the different cultures, all the different nations, time has, we've come a long ways, you know, we've come a long ways and we see so much going on on this earth. But with your permission, I'd like to take you on a particular journey. A journey that I think will free you from being the best so that you can be the best you you can possibly be. You know, all the time I'm meeting different groups of people wherever I move to, no matter what state I'm in or in what social group or culture I'm in, I've always noticed that I always desire to want to help make things better, uh, help make a difference. That, that's the way my heart was wired. I know for some of you, your, your heart's wired differently. For some of you, you might be at a stage where just having fun is what your mind is thinking about. Just living day by day. And there's nothing wrong with that. There, there is that period, especially in our youth. You may be young and listening to this, or maybe you are someone that you have some years of experience in life and you had fun already and, and you're taking things a little bit more serious. This is also part of the journey. I want to welcome you to this journey, the journey of life, the journey of thought, the journey of consideration. I want you to consider what your journey is like, what it can be like, what could hinder it. All these things matter. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak into your life. Welcome to the journey.
I would like to start off with something that I think is crucial. Many of us are living our life and we're not resting, we're not enjoying the journey. I mean, let's think about it, folks. For us to really enjoy the journey, we got to take care of ourselves. For us to be able to learn the things that we want to present to you, we have to get the rest we need. Some of you are struggling with so much stress and anxiety. You're, you're not resting. You're not getting the best rest. I want you to know that there's a section of videos specially made to help you not just rest, but restore your health while you sleep. The frequencies all play a part. The tones, the nature sounds. There are many different uh, videos presented in different ways where you can play this at night and you can get some rest. You can start programming your body to turn off and relax. Turn off the stress of the days. Some of you are working yourselves so hard that you're not enjoying the journey. We have to stop this. I did. I had to say, you know what? Going with the flow is not healthy. If everybody wants to multitask, that's great. If everybody else wants to stress themselves out and overwork themselves, that's on them. I have to understand what is important. You need to know you are important. We need to be like the river. We need to be like water. We need to be able to be flexible. We need to be able to not get bent out of shape. I want you to listen to some of the sounds that are going to be available to just help you relax. Look at the scenery and hopefully you're, you're watching this in a comfortable place. Maybe even when you're going to bed at night. But I would like you to start making sure you get the best rest you need. It is that important, especially if you want to learn what we're about to present to you. Unless two people agree, they cannot even travel together. They can't walk together. I want you to understand that part of rest is going to be when you're awake. Learning to rest while you live your life. Learning to enjoy the journey. That's part of resting. Even creation rested on the seventh day. God blessed it. We are told to enter into the Creator's rest. It's a state of life where we trust in our Creator. We trust in God. And I understand that might mean different things to some of you. For me, I made my choice who my Creator is. He created the earth. He created all that is. We were created in the image of the Creator. We were created not only in His image, but in His likeness. There are certain things about us that make us special. We are different than the animals. But we have attributes so that we can create and we can rest. We are designed to work and have dominion over the earth, over the beautiful scenery you are looking at. But what good is it if we don't rest? Calm yourself on a daily basis. Take time to enjoy quality time with yourself and rest.
You know, when taking a journey, people usually plan for a journey and for a trip. And one of the ways we stress ourselves out so much, especially in this day and age, is we're running out the door and we already know we haven't given ourselves enough time. You know, many times we are causing our own unrest, our own stress, our own anxiety because we didn't prepare the day before maybe the items we could have prepared for the journey. Many times I see people angry on the road because they're stuck in traffic because they didn't give themselves enough time to enjoy the journey. Don't make that mistake. Learn to give yourself enough time. Consider the journey and consider the obstacles that could cause you stress. You're on a river, you're traveling. Hopefully you took the necessary steps to make sure there's not a waterfall coming up. That indeed could be stressful. Oh my, my, my. And yet people do this every day. They jump in their cars, they're rushing off to some meeting and they haven't even considered putting gas in the car. How often have we made this mistake? These are some of the things we can do to improve the quality of our life and allowing us to rest while we're enjoying the journey. Oh, my friends, let me share some scriptures with you. Look at your screen. You know, when you are right with the Lord, you're in harmony with his will and his ways. You've learned to be flexible. No matter what comes your way, I mean that, no matter what comes your way, there is peace because you don't have to fear anymore because your creator is watching out for you. As you look at the water going over a waterfall, in the natural, we would fear. But that water is going to continue its journey when it reaches the bottom. And the water goes over the waterfall without hesitation. It doesn't slow down. It goes. And so should we who trust in the Lord and are led by his spirit. Oh, grasp that. The harmony that we can have and the peace that we can have, the rest that we can have in our journey, in our life, is because we trust in our Creator. We, we trust in life. I'm not saying we're trusting individuals in life. We're trusting everybody we come across. I'm talking about we're trusting in our creator and in our journey. And we're trusting that we're going to make some good decisions. We're not going to walk around in fear. We're going to cast out fear. And we're going to trust in the Lord. This is so important for you to get the quality of rest. This can keep you up at night if you don't learn it. You must learn to rest in the day 
so that you can rest at night. I want you to know that talking about rest, you're going to need to hear this more than, more than once because there are many, many things that cause us not to rest. For instance, if you're stressed, you can't rest. If you're burdened, weighed down, you cannot rest. Jesus called us to himself. Those of us that were heavy laden, heavy burdened, he said, come unto me and I will give you rest. Think about it and let's look at that scripture. It says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest that's Matthew eleven twenty eight. it's a powerful scripture it's talking about us carrying this weight and Jesus wants to give us rest he wants to put us at ease this is one of the things we have to do. We have to take inventory and ask ourselves, why am I not in a relaxation type of mindset? Why am I stressed? Why am I burdened? What is it that's preventing me from entering in to this kind of rest where I am resting when I'm awake, I'm resting when I'm asleep? It's, it's another way of saying, I have peace, I have contentment, I have joy. All these things play, pay a factor. You should be joyful if you're able to rest during the day. And when I say rest during the day, I'm not talking about sleeping. I am talking about you have a state of being that people look at you and they want what you have. They want to have that contentment. They want to be able to get into where you are and learn to live in the rest of the Lord. As we get into this a little bit deeper, I want you to understand that the only way you can have fullness of rest, total rest, is to not have anything weigh you down. Now we talked about stress, anxiety, you know, depression weighs you down, but there's something else that also weighs you down. Unforgiveness weighs you down. There's an inventory that we can go through to discuss the different things that are preventing us to live in fullness of joy. And if you're not living in fullness of joy, this is evident that you, this is evidence that you're not living in the fullness of the rest that the Lord has for you. Keep in mind, guilt has a weight this prevents us from resting we read take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls matthew eleven twenty nine. By now, many of you are already saying certain things and you are assuming a lot of things. Let me put you at rest. <laughs> Before you say, oh, this is, this, this is a Christian uh, product or sermon, I told you, I want you to invest in you. 
many of us feel the same way about the quality of people we meet, that something's missing. When I say that, I'm not talking about uh, just unsaved people that don't have a relationship with their creator, with God. No, many people go to a church. Many people are hypocrites. Many people are not your role models. It is one of the reasons why you have this weight of anxiety because you're having a hard time finding a place to belong, fitting in, You've tried church, it hasn't worked for you. you. You tried yoga, that didn't work for you. You tried alcohol, that sure didn't work for you. You know, you tried many things. You've heard the song, looking for love in all the wrong places. So let me address that. You know, sometimes we, we fellowship with different types of people, book clubs, uh, Boy Scouts, and maybe for some of you, you've gone to church and somebody rubbed you the wrong way. Maybe you got hurt by leadership and, and, and you didn't have a good experience. Now, one of the things I say is you can't blame God for what happened with a particular person. You know, biggest mistake we can make peace comes not from man and we have to understand that our peace is not coming because of our relationship with our church our book clubs or your best friend once you understand that you'll be better off okay peace comes from a personal relationship with the Creator and we're going to talk more about that. In no way, shape, or form am I wanting you to settle for less. Matter of fact, you're going to find out as we continue our sessions that what I present to you is going to make many believers uncomfortable. Many pastors will be uncomfortable. And that's okay because this is about you. You are important. You deserve answers. And you deserve a chance in this life. As we continue this section called Entering into Rest, you know, we are not done. But I want you to go to the next video and we're going to join up there and we're going to examine this further as we look at the obstacles we must eliminate so that we can enter into fullness of rest. We will also look at how to take inventory so that you can begin your healing process and you start healing body, soul, your mind. It all works together. God created you with a body with senses, the feeling of touch, smell, and eyesight, and hearing, all these senses play a part. And you're going to understand as you continue with me on this journey.